Hi guys, Charles Slowikowski, founder of the Fabertech CNC machines. Today I would like to answer a question which we getting very often, which is uh, how should I choose the CNC router, CNC machine for my operations? And uh, it comes down to a couple of uh, questions, a couple of details. First thing, what you're cutting? If you're cutting, for example, plastics, if you're cutting signage, you need a very high accuracy. You need to go for a higher model, which is more um, receptive, it's on servo drives, it's, it's more accurate. If you, let's say, van conversion uh, specialist and you're cutting lots of linings uh, for the van, for the, for the Volkswagen transporters and, and kind of, then you can even go uh, for the more budget-friendly uh, model M0, which as of 2023 starts at £12,000. Uh, if you are furniture manufacturer and, uh, you know, fully professional with a couple of joiners, you really need to cut every day, four, five, six, seven hours, um, probably you need to go for the more accurate machine M1, M2 and definitely with the ATC which is a uh, shortcut for uh, automatic tool changer and that's uh, gonna give you um, more operations at any given moment, more availability for different, you know, um, more sophisticated cuts uh, for let's say, you know, chamfers on the, on the door edges for the fingers or, you know, shaker style doors or all of the fixings, everything done in one go. So first thing is what you're cutting and then we can adjust model for your particular reason. So for example, we are not interested, we are not sales guys. We are not interested to sell you the most expensive machine with the most options, which we don't have because I prefer to add all of the options in the basic machine price, don't have quotations which are five uh, pages long. So most important for us, first question, what you're cutting. Then, if you're gonna be needing ATC, which is automatic tool changer. As I mentioned before, one conversions. Uh, someone who is cutting uh, everything with one bit, let's say six millimeter, five millimeter bit, he is just cutting simple shapes, perfectly fine. He, he can go for M0, for M1 machine without the tool changer, and it's gonna be fine. But if you're furniture manufacturer, if you're signage manufacturer, if you're someone who is doing CNC services, if you're someone who's doing, you know, three, four operations, you're doing a uh, let's say a um, bloom hinges hole, then you're doing some drills for the shelves, then you're changing to 15 millimeter uh, drill, for example, for the mono fixings, then you're doing, um, I don't know, shaker style or some pocket with another bit. Suddenly on one board, you need three, four, five different tools. You have to have an ATC because that's gonna save you hours per day. And you as a joiner, imagine you are two, three men band, your skill is in your hands. Your hour is two, 300 pounds per hour, of your hands what you can do. So you cannot stand by the machine, change the tool, measure, press the button, wait one and a half minute. You need to press the button, leave the machine for 10 minutes and the machine is gonna do everything so you can take ready element. You don't even need to use panel, so you don't need to use anything because on the machine element has to be fully finished from the rough board to the fully finished carcass, door, shelf, whatever you're gonna envisage. That's the, that's the idea, that's the, that's the the whole, you know, uh, invention of the CNC machine. You have to take the ready element. So the ATC is important if you want to streamline your production, if you want to press the button and forget about the subject for next 10, 15 minutes. Next thing is the table size. So for example, um, in all of the CNC machines, we have a couple of typical table sizes, which are eight by four, effectively one, three to five, one point three meter by two and a half, one, five, three, zero, which is equivalent of 10 by five, and then 20, 30, which is two by three meters. Slightly oversized for the Egger, Chronospan, Cleave, different boards, which are, as a jumbo comes into, you know, 20, 70 by 30, 80 millimeters, for example. And uh, that's the next thing which we need to take under consideration, table size. And of course, you cannot upgrade the table size. We have a clients who, after six, seven, eight months, they ask us, can I replace the machine? Because they're gonna use bigger boards. They're gonna use something different. So always think what you're gonna do in six months time, in 12 months time, because you know, the appetite grows when you have the CNC machine. At the moment, you may not know what you're gonna be doing, but having CNC machine in your workshop and being able to do prototyping literally every single day, you don't have to send it somewhere else. You don't have to wait a week. You're gonna do it in literally 10, five minutes, some, some new model, some new, new part, uh, assemble it, do some dog joints, do some, some, something else. You're gonna have new ideas and maybe eight by four, is not gonna be enough for you in six months time. So think ahead. It's not a big difference in price, 
but it's huge difference in capabilities, what you can do in the future. So table size and what we're going to be cutting. Next thing is connected with what we're cutting, vacuum pumps. So all of our models, all of the M2, M1 and M0, they have a vacuum tables. And the uh, vacuum table work in such a way that you have a couple of zones which are sealed with like a neoprene seal. Air goes through the MDF. Yes, believe me, the air sucks through the MDF and the top board is being he held by the friction, by the two flat surfaces friction. So you cannot move it. For example, now I can move it. When we apply the vacuum pump, it's gonna suck every time down in and you cannot move it sideways. So that is very handy. And for example, in, oh, in M1 and M2 machines, we have positioning bolts. So they pop out, you push the board against the pins, and then it's completely perpetual, it's completely, you know, straight. You don't have to worry that it's angled three meters down the row and the bit is not gonna, you know, reach the edge of the board or it's gonna go too deep. So you have a couple of options with vacuum pump. One, most, uh, let's say, cost effective in the long term, rotary vane pump, 11 kilowatt, which we replace for the, um, from, from the seven and a half in the setup. And that's gonna give you a good, good um, holding power for smaller elements, let's say drawer fronts, some stanchions, some, some you know, connecting pieces, which you're gonna do, for example, between the carcasses, uh, 36 millimeters, uh, or lettering, which is very narrow, but very elaborated, but there is not surface enough to, to hold it on the vacuum. So again, those kind of pumps uh, are, are very, very important if you want to have a smooth, faultless operations during the day, everything goes smoothly. You know that when you press start on the controller, what you plan is what you get at the end without any movements on the board. So that's very, very important. You cannot, you cannot save on the vacuum pump. You have to, it's, it's, it's like a spindle. It's like, you know, any other part on the, on the CNC. It has to be efficient for your cutting, um, uh, you know, operations. As I mentioned, if you are one, um, uh, you know, one conversion guy and you're doing just the linings, which are two meters by three meters wide, and you're just cutting one big shape. Yeah, smaller pump is going to suffice. But if you're going sm lots of small shapes on the big sheet, you need to upgrade the vacuum pump to really have a nice walk in the park operations every day. Um, next thing is the controller. Dependable how much control you want to have on the machine. You can go for M0, M1, small handheld controller, which you have a couple of op operations, you know, visible in here. But compared to, for example, M2, large Syntec controller, where you have large screen, you have all of the buttons which you can imagine at any given point you can do whatever you want with the machine you have pulse generator which in other ways is like a, you're giving pulse to servos to motion movement on the cnc and that's how you can move the machine even during the operation so the machine is not going to go automatically and start to cut and maybe go into the table because you forgot to measure the tools you control full the machine, fully the machine by turning the wheel forward or even backwards. So I know it may be a few thousand difference between the two models uh, and the two different controllers, but believe me, this is a lifesaver sometimes when you're learning, when you want to have a full control on the CNC, you don't want anything to move automatically, which will be the case with M0 and M1. You can slow them down, but still they're gonna move where you plan them to move, but if you make mistake with the heights, with something, it will try to go, for example, in the table, or it will try to work in the air, or maybe even go outward the table, which is not a problem because we have a limiters, we have safety net, let's say, but still, you don't have uh, that much control. And in terms of uh, choosing the CNC, always think warranty, always think parts, always think if the company has a spare parts in the UK, doesn't have to wait from Italy, China, whatever, you know, whatever their parts are from. So that's very important to, to keep that in mind. UK-based company, service, uh, maintenance. For example, M0 has a full 12 months warranty parts and labor on site, but M1 and M2, because it's higher models, they have 24 months warranty. 
So two years without any worries, you're just cutting, cutting, cutting. That's the quickest, you know, I can, I can, I can do in five, ten, five, ten minutes, um, you know, Q&A. If you have any questions, leave a comment or give us a shout, send us an email. More than happy to help you and choose the machine exactly for your need. It may be expensive, it may be slightly cheaper, but believe me, if you need something just to cut simple shapes without any bells and whistles, we're not going to try to sell you 30,000 machine, we're going to go for 12,000 machine. Because for us, you know, sales quota doesn't matter, matter that you get the machine which is for your given purpose. Again, thank you very much, Fartek Group, Charles Slovikowski. See ya.